is Guardian Radio, your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Networks. From off the wall Give that baby back and forth Leave all the people things alone There's other ways to get involved Get involved, get involved. Don't be no fool, stay in school Let your mind become a tool Change will make for fools to be Locked away from society Morning this morning and welcome back to Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, your station for fresh news, smart talk all day. It is Friday the 19th of May 2023 and you're on the clock with Aaron Green. Now this is normally a sports Friday with Mr. Eric Sawyer, me working today. Uh, and so I, had, I have found some other guests to talk about what possibly should have been the national sport of the Bahamas, which is financial services. It's a realm that we've played in for not just decades, but I would say over a century, maybe centuries. It is something that we are good at. And despite uh, what our national examination, examinations will reflect, Bahamians are actually very, uh, what's the word, numerate? We have financial literacy. We understand numbers. We understand math. We know how to turn a dollar, to, to make a dollar out of 50 cents. Yeah. This is evidenced by the lives of thousands and thousands and thousands of Bahamians that have multiplied their gifts and talents into lives, careers, family, legacy. We got to believe in ourselves, and sometimes we can't see our own value through the lens of others and other systems. But in studio today, I have a group of people who believe in Bahamians and have committed themselves to growing a national institute, a local entity, Bahamians, not just to improve their own lives, but to grow the country. Joining me today are Mr. Ian Fernanda and Mrs. Kim Bodie from the Bahamas Institute for Financial Services. And we're going to be talking about the 2023 Financial Services Week Conference. But before we get there, I have just a couple of housekeeping notices. The first, Equality Bahamas CEDAW Speaker Series continues tomorrow, Saturday, May 20th at 9 a.m., we will be joined by Naila Gabra, former CEDAW committee member, who will lead a conversation on CEDAW, CEDAW Article 14 on rural women. In the Bahamian context, rural women are women living in the family islands, and feminist principles and practices call us to be attentive and responsive to the specific needs of women in the family islands with limited or no access to critical resources and services. In this session, they'll talk about the interpretation of Article 14 on rural women, recommendations made to the Bahamas in 2018, and progress toward compliance with CEDAW. And one of the th things I expect to be discussed is rural women and financial services, access to banks, access to cash, the ability to trade, to buy, to engage in commerce. That's also very important for rural women. And in the Bahamas, with our geographic context, which is an archipelagic nation, with uh, we call an archipelagic exterior, right, where the capital is in center, and then it trickles out. A very important discussion, both for rural women and for financial services. Again, on Saturday, uh, the Ministry of National Security is hosting a seminar, Trafficking in Persons Prevention for Seminar for Girls, Saturday, May the 20th, 10 to 1 p.m. at the National Training Agency on Gladstone Road. You can call the Ministry of National Security at 502-3328 
or 502-3329 for more information. Listen, this is also a very important conversation. We must teach our girls and women and boys how to be aware, spatial awareness, be aware of what's happening around you and what to do if you suspect you or someone you know or someone near you is in danger of being abducted or has been trafficked. Very important. One last uh, note for the morning. I want to bring to your attention the state-recognized funeral service for the late Lorenzo Anthony Ray Minus Jr. The cabinet office announced that the state-recognized funeral service for Lorenzo Anthony Ray Minus Jr. retired is being held today, right now, Friday the 19th of May at 10 a.m. at Camp Road Ministries on Camp Road. Interment will follow in Lakeview Memorial Gardens Mausoleums, J.F. Kennedy Drive. The funeral service will and is being broadcast live right now on ZNS Radio Network uh, from Camp Road Ministries. Say condolences to the friends and family and loved ones, the entire boxing community on the passing of Ray Minus Jr. When I was at the Methodist Youth Summer Camp, I uh, had the pleasure, I was a counselor at the time, uh, Ray Minus Jr.'s daughter attended the camp for several years, and we all had a wonderful time. And so again, we extend our love and our hearts to the Minus family. But good morning, everyone. We're not talking sports today, not quite yet. Maybe I could get a word in at the end. The NBA is exciting. It is playoff time. Like I say, only two things people talking about in the Bahamas right now. NBA playoffs and how we making that money. And that is all about financial services. So this is Kim Bodie and Mr. Ian Fernanda. How are you? Good, good. Absolutely. Now, please introduce yourselves to the audience and then tell us briefly about Bahamas Institute for Financial Services. Okay. I'm Mrs. Kim Bodie, and I'm the Executive Director of the Bahamas Institute of Financial Services. Mm -hmm. I've been there for many years. I won't say how many. Okay. <laughs> I am Ian, Ian Fernander. I am head of the Educational um, Committee of the Bahamas Institute of Financial Services. I am also the consulting executive director of the Institute, and I've been with the Institute as a student um, from my, my teenage years. I've been there as a lecturer for several decades, um, about three or so decades, so about three decades, I don't want to age myself so much. And I've also, in, in this capacity, been there in the administration of the Institute as well. Absolutely. So you mm -hmm. are a living testament mm -hmm. to the value yes, yes. of the work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. I'm glad that you brought him <coughs> along with you this morning, Ms. Bodhi. So the 2023 Financial Services Week mm -hmm. Conference. Mm -hmm. uh, how many years are we in now? We started this conference all the way back in 2005, six. So wow. we've, been, we've been around for a long time. We've had a two-year break because of the pandemic. It, just, it used to be called Bankers Week. Bankers Week, exactly. Ah, Bankers Week, but yes. it's, ex it's extended or expanded in the same way that the local financial services industry has seen a major expansion. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. we, we changed the name in 2003 when we changed our name to reflect that. The, the, the many because, because we used to be the Bahamas Institute, Institute, of, of, Bahamas Bankers. Institute of Bankers, Bankers yes. and changed it to financial services because mm -hmm. financial services is more than just banking. banking now. It mm -hmm. is, you know, it's insurance. It's, mm -hmm. um, and then the, the professionals that affect financial services are everywhere, the, the mm -hmm. lawyers, the accountants, and Absolutely. everyone else, yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and just to note how important the name is, right, like setting up the proper foundation to build proper inclusivity and let people know you, we know that you're a part of this industry. We know that we need you mm -hmm. to continue growing it. Well, it, the, the Institute um, formation uh, was set up by the first governor of the central bank, Mr. Timothy Barswell Donaldson, 
And when he came back from the IMF and he, he took an overview mm -hmm. of the industry at that particular time. So we are just as old as the celebration of our country, 50 years old. Absolutely. And he decided that, hey, you know, there were persons in the industry, young people, mm -hmm. who were not well trained for the financial services sector. Mm -hmm. And hence he started the Financial Services Institute with the Bankers Institute at that time. And what he did was he engaged the senior heads mm -hmm. of the various banks to um, share in that vision with him. Yes. Hence, we're here and we have trained thousands oh of persons who are operating um, at high levels in the industry. I, look at, I love it. I'm all about conversations about national development. Yes. Like you say, we're in the 50th. Yes. And how important it is, as you're growing your country, to grow the institutions mm -hmm. that right. govern your country. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. this, this is what sovereignty is about, being able to train your own people, yeah. being in, to, able to ensure access to education, exactly. and not just the primary education in the field, but continuing education services as well. Mm -hmm. And this institution has certainly been a great part of, of growing that culture of appreciation uh, and professional certification mm -hmm. programs. And it's interesting that you should say that, um, Aaron. It's because when we were established, at the same time, the College of the Bahamas was birth, mm -hmm. right? The Central Bank and, of course, the Bahamas Institute of Financial Services, three very key yes. institution that, that speaks to um, developing mm -hmm. the young minds uh, in, our, in our industry. And the, the students, the participants in the courses really exemplify uh, the seriousness, right, of the institution. Mm -hmm. All of the students I know that have participated, um, when we were hanging out, you know, there came an hour and yeah. they let you know, Oh, I got to go. I got classes. Oh, I got to go. I have to study. I said, but you're not in the, you're not in the college. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, no, I'm in the institute. Yeah. Right? And, and, yeah. and it, it's really a necessary part. And so, I, like I say to people like C. Allen Johnson, mm -hmm. we need institutions. Yeah. We need people committed to growing knowledge, mm -hmm. preserving our local knowledge, expanding it, and mm -hmm. providing a space for Bahamians to train in the Bahamas. And, and how important it was at that time when we were developed, we had no physical space, physical mm -hmm. space. So we had to turn to the College of the Bahamas, who in association with designed the curriculum yes. for the Bahamas Institute of Financial Services. And for some 30 years, our programs were administered by the then, what they call the business division yeah. of the College of the Bahamas. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The schedule of uh, pre presentations that I've seen suggests that this is an extremely important discussion. We know uh, conference, the topics to be discussed, but a proclamation by the prime minister, right, will really explain to the people how important financial services are, the institute is, and this conference, mm -hmm. Financial Services Week Conference 2023. Mm -hmm. If I could read briefly from the proclamation, oh. Whereas the financial services industry has been a key pillar of the economy of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and has had the continual and committed support of the Bahamas Institute of Financial Services through decades of evolving and contributing to the development and of the industry, its partners, its stakeholders, and its workforce. And whereas the Central Bank of the Bahamas, through the vision and leadership of founding governor T. Baswell Donaldson, in 1973, established the Bahamas Institute of Bankers with the supportive collaboration of the leadership of member licensees in the financial services industry to address the specific education, training, and personal development requirements of the financial services industries and people. And whereas the Bahamas Institute of Bankers officially rebranded to the Bahamas Institute of Financial Services in 2003 and dedicates its 50 years of continuing, continuous existence, contribution, and progress to its purpose of strengthening and sustaining the industry with responsive, innovative, and relevant professional development. And whereas the Bahamas Institute of Financial Services joins in celebration of the golden anniversary, I just love that part, of the, celebra of the uh, 
Commonwealth of the Bahamas and commemorates and reflects on the simultaneous birth and life of the Institute and the Bahamas that it serves. And in this year, reinstates Financial Services Week, formerly Bankers Week, to foster the exploration of the sector's environment, directions, and opportunities. And whereas the Bahamas Institute of Financial Services has been faithful to its mandate, it is a vital source of provisioning skills and knowledge and is committed to the national well-being, resulting in thousands having benefit from programs, certifications, courses, seminars, and workshops with supplemental beneficiaries comprising the pioneers, professionals, innovators, leadership, and guardians of the financial services industry and related sectors within the economy. Now, therefore, I, Philip E. Davis, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, do hereby proclaim the week commencing Monday the 22nd to Friday the 26th as Bahamas Financial Services Week. Dear parents, here's what you got to do next week. You got to put aside 30 minutes a day to engage in an activity with your children about money, about saving money, about making money, about spending money, about bartering. Encourage your kids to barter with neighbors or barter with each other. Do something. And if you can't do it every day, pick one day and make it special. And help your children develop positive attitudes around money, the economy, financial services. Don't let your children grow up scared of money, afraid of being without it, unable to figure out how to generate it. Right here at the root, it's your job to help prepare your children for the world. Mm -hmm. The proclamation was wonderful, and I yes. think it really, it really declares mm -hmm. the government's understanding of the financial services industry and its importance in the development and the operation of this country. I think for parents who are just about what you're going to do with your life, feel confident yes. that the financial services is an industry they can participate in, compete in, train in, educate themselves in at home if they have to, if they want to. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. So let's get into the conference. Mr. Fernanda, the first thing I saw was that the conference is being hosted both at Bahama and at Crypto Isles. Yes. Now, is that a virtual component? Like, will people be able to sit in one or the other venue and participate? Or will you have sessions at each venue? Well, well no, it's at, it's, at, it's at Bahama on the first day, mm -hmm. and then it moves to Crypto Isles. All right. So where exactly is Crypto Isles? Do I need a boat? Do I need a visa? <laughs> <laughs> I need a water ferry? Where is Crypto Isles? Crypto Isles is located uh, east Bay Street, mm -hmm. just opposite Scotia Bank. Just uh, opposite Scotia Bank. Yes. Mal Malcolm Park and Scotia Bank. Malcolm Park. Okay. Well, Malcolm Park is a little ways yeah. down. So yeah, yeah. and you know, Crypto Isle is a, is a, a kind of way to turn into that gate. So you have to be very. That's why uh, for me, yeah, I always mark it at Scotia Bank, so I won't miss the turn. Hand side, you're gonna slow down. Put on mm -hmm. your turn signal. Mm -hmm. Use your hand signal because right. people could see you slowing yeah. down yes. to make what is a slightly yes. difficult uh, there's narrow. A, there's a narrow turn in there. It used right. to be Luciano's restaurant. Ah, uh, okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. Okay, so that's a nice. I could pretend like I'm on another island. I love it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, there's, 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 there's water nearby. Thing. Everybody always asks, "Where? How can I find it?" People, you know, even my children. Yeah. From where, but now they know. Okay. You know where they're. Well, right. we all know where it was yes. in former the uh, former space of Luciano. Luciano. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So the first day is at Bahama, mm -hmm. and yes. that is the 24th. Yes. yes. And then the final two days, the 25th and the 26th, are at Crypto Isle. Crypto Isle, yes. All right. Is there a virtual component for people who are out of country but want to participate or not in your Providence? Yes. Yes, there will be. All right. And we can find that mm -hmm. at the uh, registration link. Yes. 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 Okay. Awesome. Uh, times. When, what's the length of the day? Well, the, on Monday, we're starting at um, 9.30. 9.30. Okay. Okay, and we'll be there until about 3, I think about 3.30ish, yeah. Okay. It ends at about 3.30 on, on Monday. And when will the Prime Minister speak? The I've Prime Minister is speaking, of course, on the first day. Okay. He is our keynote speaker. And that's a 10. That's a 10. Yes. And 
do we have any idea on what specific subjects he's going to touch on? Just because, like, conferences like these are great for networking. They're also great for getting a sense of what's what people are there to explore. But I'm sure the participants are eager to hear what the Prime Minister has to say. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we can only presume because we, we don't know exactly what he has to say. So um, I'm sure he, as Minister of Finance, he's not just Prime Minister. Yes. Um, he would have um, important um, words to bring to the industry. Okay. But we did say to him in our invite letter that we are asking you to uh, speak on what your government has done since taking office. If you look at our theme, mm -hmm. okay, we are talking about um, continuing your professional development, re-engaging, and progressing your performance in financial services. Yes. So we are asking the Prime Minister to take, give us a record of his performance over the, or his government's performance yes. in the past two years. They're getting ready to soon discuss the, the second, but I believe this would be their yes. first budget presentation. Absolutely. So it would be nice for the young people and those persons who are in the sector, and of course all the professionals around the country, mm -hmm. and even our extended partners who are, are going to share in this with, in the region virtually. Yes. And we have a regional speaker coming in as well. Okay. So, you know, we, we want him to speak to their strength. Absolutely. Performance. Absolutely. I think there's a wonderful opportunity. Uh, downfalls of successive governments. It's not that they haven't done anything, mm -hmm. but they have not clearly and properly articulated to the people what it is that they have yeah. done, and in a way that they can easily understand it and connect mm -hmm. it to the industry or the space that they are in. Mm -hmm. So what a wonderful opportunity. Uh, but I ask that also because the list of topics to be discussed they're fascinating, a wide range of subjects from human resources issues to technical capacity issues, uh, the industries that are engaged, the insurance industry, human resources industry, compliance mm -hmm. space, mm -hmm. uh, the central bank will be giving uh, mm -hmm. will presentation. a presentation. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of the presentations uh, mm -hmm. that people can expect. Well, I'd like to preface by saying that, as, as is the mode of the Institute, these topics didn't just come up. We actually um, called to the industry for what they would like to hear, just, okay. just as we do. And we, we talk about what do you want to learn in, so that we can, we can um, um, put together our courses. Yes. So we did have, we did have a, a, a group that sat and gave ideas about what should happen in this week. And we literally came up with at least about 60 different topic areas. Mm -hmm. And somehow we, we, we somehow put it down to these, these, these areas. A lot of things are missing from what people wanted to hear, but these seem to be some of the main topics. Well, let me put a topic <laughs> on the table. Uh, revisioning and revamping our financial services industry. And we can see that our government has taken on its uh, sort of fiscal obligation to collect taxes and to ensure that they are able to extract resources that they need to support development. I understand that. I have been exploring the idea of formal barter systems, mm. right, where people can barter particularly goods, local food, things like that. I see, though, on the horizon a very innovative uh, government having a conversation about being able to extract some value from that barter system and ensuring that, that those who are bartering are also contributing mm -hmm. right, to national development mm -hmm. in the same way that those who mm -hmm. are engaging in uh, cash transactions or fiat transactions are. Um, I would love to see a discussion about the future or the potential for formal bartering systems. Yeah, uh, Aaron, Aaron, that's a great idea. When, when you were talking earlier about parents teaching their, their kids about money, mm -hmm. one of the things that people should tell parents is should teach their kids about value. Mm -hmm. Money is not the only value in the world. Mm -hmm. we, our time is valuable. What we do um, mm -hmm. how we treat people and uh, mm -hmm. there's so our well-being there's so many things that are valuable that um, we, we somehow lose these things by mm -hmm. thinking too much that money is the only valuable thing so Absolutely. I, I thank you for your last comment <laughs> and, and, and to another 
subject on the table, dear young people, mm -hmm. no matter what industry you're in, mm -hmm. see if you can get to this conference because this topic mm -hmm. is one that all, everybody in the Bahamas thinks about. So I, when I grew up, my grandmother, Corinne Mitchell, told me, one day I came home in frustration and she said, now remember, when you get tired of being on the people job, you don't get lazy, you don't slack off. Remember, you have the right to quit. Mm -hmm. You have the right to go home and not do what you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. But don't ever stay on someone's job knowing that you're not going to give them what you should be giving them mm -hmm. and, and sit and complain. Mm -hmm. And so understanding value, mm -hmm. understanding value outside of monetary uh, uh, assessment, mm -hmm. understanding the value that your employees bring to the table understanding those non-traditional assets, mm -hmm. those soft skills that they bring, and the mm -hmm. value that they add to the work is very important. So what, one of the topics I'm excited to hear about is how the uh, Society of Human Resource is going to engage the subject of quiet quitting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, and I think we, we see that it's prevalent. Um, and it's not always about money. It's not always about resources. It's about relationships. Mm -hmm. It's about spatial awareness. It's about workplace and workplace environment and workplace culture. And I think a lot of young people will just feel better knowing that we're having conversations about it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Uh, you know, Aaron, we, we have a, a program we call the G12 program. Mm -hmm. And we have graduated some 177 uh, senior high school students, they come to us for, for well, when we first started the program, we had the 11th graders coming in, and then we prepared them for the 12th graders. We're mm -hmm. going back to that after the pandemic. Yes, And awesome. we are re-engaging the program again. We are going back to the 11th graders because we want to um, not get in the way of their 12th grade studies yes. for their BGCSE. Yes. But we have seen so many of them have blossomed and have, 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 have you know, moved into really, really lucrative careers. Yes. A part of that program is attaching some of them, but we give them the opportunity to intern at one of our sponsoring member banks. Absolutely. And so they get four, four to six weeks. Some, I think the central bank keeps them on for six weeks. Some of our other banks mm -hmm. kept, kept them for four weeks. Yes. And so they get to learn the industry. They get to learn about financial services. Another plug for one of our sponsoring members, because the Institute could not exist without our sponsors. Absolutely. Right? Who, who actually give, um, you know, a certain amount of money to the Institute annually. Yes. Um, as permanent members. And one of them is the Bank of the Bahamas. Now, the Bank of the Bahamas had been giving out, and this is my plug to get the Bank of the Bahamas to come out. Yes. And put a boot down at the conference and put those piggy banks on their display booth yes. so that the parents can take home the piggy bank. You talk about this is financial services. Growing that culture. Let those children put their little coins that their little aunties and uncles and grandpa give mm -hmm. into that bank and teach them how to save. Listen, in fact, for next year's financial services week, Ministry of Agriculture and uh, BAIC, please partner with Bahamas Institute for Financial Services so we can get parents and children out with their small mm -hmm. agribusiness, whether yes. it's selling lemonade or yes. Benny cake yes. or, or, or the coconut tart. Yes. It's, it's, and, and, and Bank of the Bahamas... I promise you I won't complain about anything because I see now that well beyond what I could see, you are a wonderful corporate sponsor. Oh, they are. Yeah, man. They have been with us from the beginning. Yeah, man. Any yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but because the resources available sometimes are limited for youth development. Yeah. And it's great to see these institutions step up when they can. And then just recently, I think it was last weekend, um, Ian, the central bank um, were at Fusion. Right, we had the Financial yes. Literacy, the literacy Fair, Fair and Digital Expo. Exactly. Yes, yeah. and uh, really supportive, uh, very great incentives to yeah. get people out there, digital mm -hmm. wallets. Mm -hmm. And another important part of the financial services discussion, I'm sure, this mm -hmm. week, dear parents, Come down, yeah. send your seniors down so you can help your children become financially safe yes. by exploring digital wallets and mm -hmm. alternate uh, money transfer mm -hmm. systems. Mm -hmm. This is awesome yeah. stuff. Uh, Mr. Fernando, tell us more about some of the topics. 
Well, um, I'm going to start from we, some of our industry partners. One of them, of course, is the Insurance Commission, mm -hmm. and they would be um, delivering on, on, on some of the, the ideas around the insurance, the landscape of the insurance profession. Yes. Um, there is something from being done by the First Caribbean, mm -hmm. um, CIBC First Caribbean, and um, Dr. Managing Director will be doing a presentation on digital transformation, um, awesome. which, which, which should be very interesting. The Bahamas Association of Compliance Officers, um, who's a partner with, with, with us at, at the Bahamas Institute of Financial Services. Can I just say how important uh, the, the topic OECD initiatives and impact on the Bahamas. We're not, we want to prepare an environment where we don't just respond to what they say, but we're three steps ahead and we make them respond to what it is we plan on doing, right? A, a wonderful space. Shift the culture. Don't see ourselves as subject to see ourselves as having the opportunity to define mm -hmm. the space. Yes. The, the head of the, the cybersecurity um, incident re response team at the, the, in the office of the Prime Minister, the national head of cybersecurity, um, Ms. Samitra McKinney, mm -hmm. will be presenting a topic around cybersecurity and, and, and cybersecurity policy at awesome. the conference. Yes. Every business association, every business person, or uh, corporations, please come out. As a consumer, yeah. I say, please come out. Mm -hmm. As a business person, mm -hmm. I say, you got to be there. Yeah. This yes. is awesome. Our, our financial <laughs> intelligence unit, um, they will be talking about um, trends in compliance and compliance and, and financial crime, which, mm -hmm. is, which is a concern to yeah. us um, um, in, in the Bahamas, financial crime. A lot of persons are concerned, like, hey, if I start to do my financial business, am mm -hmm. I not exposing myself to crime? Yes. And then this unit is going to just speak to some of that. Mm -hmm. We have the National Insurance Board who will be helping us with um, the, 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 the relevancy and sustainability of the National Insurance Board, which is, which is something that has been topical, obviously. <laughs> oh, wow. What we're talking about. I, I'm... I'm going to invite uh, a public invitation to members of the board to come on and, and let's talk about it. Yeah. Because for a second I was like, you know, uh, I got a little anarchist there. Get away with all the regulations. I say, no, 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 wait, wait. We need regulations and, and compliance and oversight mm -hmm. and management because they don't just govern over you. Mm -hmm. They create an environment where you can explore the scope and the potential expansion of your space. Yeah, the, the, the Central Bank of Bahamas will be, will be there, of course. And um, one of the, the areas that they'll be talking about is the oversight, regulatory oversight of the credit unions. Um, as, you, as you may okay. or may not know, the central bank is now a regulatory oversight of credit unions. Okay. And, um, and, and they'll be presenting on that topic as well. Very important. We, <laughs> they'll all, they'll on some other topics related to the, the economics of the Bahamas okay. um, uh, as well. So very good presentations by, by um, personnel from, from the central bank. Absolutely. And, and um, I'll, I'll just quickly bring into that we have um, regional and international um, mm -hmm. partners who will be at the conference. Uh, the Jamaica Institute of Financial Services, they'll be talking about strategies and leadership um, for, for low management and mid-level management. Okay. And um, our, our partners from the, the Chartered Banker Institute in Scotland mm -hmm. will be there um, talking about green and sustainable finance and climate change and, 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 finance and the financial services industry. Again, climate change is something that we, we, we talk mm -hmm. about a lot in the yeah. Bahamas today mm -hmm. because it, it is pretty, pretty important to us. Um, we also have um, an, an, another international partner from Wales, the, the Bangor University. That we partner with it for the the master's um, degrees that the institute does offer, and they'll be talking about emerging trends in financial services training. Um, they'll be here um, speaking on that. So th there's just a host of, of topics that um, that that will happen over mm -hmm. over the course of the the, the seminars. I mean, this is ab absolutely fantastic. You know, from culture to technology. Um, introducing people to new services, how important it is to have the right language, the right approach, the, to create the 
proper environment to do with their money, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and engaging new technology mm -hmm. and, and how important that space is mm -hmm. for the service provider to understand the shifting, the culture of their existing culture of their users and customers and how to shift them to a new culture. Yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me also mention the Securities Commission and their, and their input because they will be there talking ab again about something that's been very topical, mm -hmm. the digital asset space yes. and, and the enforcement of regulations around, right. around digital Fantastic. assets. They, they'll be doing uh, their presentation on that. We'll have presentations uh, again by, by, by the central bank on the credit bureau mm -hmm. that we've been hearing about so much and uh, uh, that, the, that is supposed to become a, a key part of our, our Bahamian landscape. Um, about financial stability and resilience within the Bahamas, um, about economic recovery, um, planning based on the IMF assessments, mm -hmm. um, review of the governing laws of the financial sector, and so forth. The Credit Bureau. <laughs> no, I, I scared. <laughs> I may, I may owe somebody some money, I scared. <laughs> 19, some. But the point is this, a wonderful opportunity for people to come and learn, so you yeah. won't be scared. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you won't be uh, timid. Right. So, but also, more importantly, please go out to that panel so you can understand the supporting services that are required to make this work properly. Yes. Right? We're going to need... Uh, supporting businesses, but we're also going to need supporting NGOs and mechanisms mm -hmm. to go along with this, to support consumers, to support people, to support the service providers. Mm -hmm. What a fantastic space. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you are saying, listen, I got a degree, a financial services degree, but I'm not sure what avenue I'm, I'm going to move into next, mm -hmm. this is the conference for you. Mm -hmm. Not just to s snapshots of spaces that are, exist, and that you can move into, but spaces that need to exist, and that you can grow and be the first uh, performer, be the first one in, the first stakeholder in that space. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. One, of the th one of the other things, I, in, I just want to chime in, but I want you to finish. On this topic that of digital transformation and the impact on client experience. Experience, yes. You could this conference is not just for persons working in the industry. This conference is for the entire country. It's for, we invited the general public to come and mm -hmm. listen to some of these presentations. Awesome. It's so important. Yes. Particularly in this particular topic, we can no longer go into some of the banks to do transactions. Yes. People are complaining at Beyond the Bank line. They complain, no, oh, I got to stand on the line. I can't do The senior citizens of our country, see these things we have to bring mm -hmm. to their understanding. We are in a transformation. Yes. And you, you, they have to learn how to use some of these instruments, the ATM machine. Yes. You see? You Absolutely. Got, you got to deposit your money to the ATM machine. Yes. And you got to pull your money out. You can't go in the bank. And they, not a, they allow the seniors, I think, to go yeah. into the branches. But That's a know, big these, shift in personal this, this culture? There's some serious shifts yes. in the domestic banking sector. Yes. And I want to invite persons in the general public to come out and to hear this presentation. And, and come out. I know a wonderful woman. She manages a senior group at her church. Mm -hmm. Once a week, she organizes. Anybody who wants to come out, we'll have a little snacks. We have mm -hmm. a subject. We have people mm -hmm. come in and talk to us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do outings. I want to say to those people, come out to this conference. Mm -hmm. Sit and talk with stakeholders yeah. about how you can arrange opportunities yeah. for your group right. to do some of this engagement, first encounter mm -hmm. engagement. Mm -hmm. Set up a session so I could bring through my people and right. Right, yeah. bring through my people so I could right. show them. Demonstrate. This is what, right. This is mm -hmm. what the process. Sit them down with the computer and say, listen, mm -hmm. this is what your digital wallet is going to look like. This mm -hmm. is what online banking looks mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. This is what you're going to do if you encounter an issue. Mm -hmm. Pick up the phone. Send an email. Mm -hmm. Someone will respond mm -hmm. immediately. Yes. Absolutely. And this is where AI can come in, right? AI isn't going to solve the problem because they can't sign the signature that mm -hmm. says it's, mm -hmm. it's solved, but mm -hmm. AI can be a gap mm -hmm. until you have human-to-human -human contact right. Right. and can provide suggestions, help you run through them, 
and give you a degree of confidence yes. that you haven't gone wrong and, 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 and some prince right in Alaska have all your money. <laughs> yes. yes. I don't know if, if Ian want to address the sand dollar aspect of the, 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 we have to now get used to because we can use that to also transact our money business. Absolutely, and we're yeah. going to have presentations on sand dollar and CBDCs at well, this event. Well, well the, the central bank will have a booth, a sand yeah. dollar booth yeah. at, awesome. at the, at mm -hmm. the conference. Yes. Uh, that's great. And I, I say to people, if you get out there, go and talk to the staff at the sand dollar booth. They're knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. They're friendly. Mm -hmm. They don't sound like me with 7,000 words. <laughs> the, you know, uh, $7,000 words. They connect with the people. But listen, guys, we've been talking for far too long. We've got to go to a break. I got my producer in there sweating. Producer, take us to a break. Equation details, the cost, uh, the venue, the dates, and uh, run through some of the most exciting topics on the agenda for the 2023 Financial Services Week Conference. <laughs> the show you can now listen to guardian radio talk shows anytime anywhere on spotify and youtube by searching guardian radio 96.9 fm or by entering the name of your favorite show you can also listen by logging on to guardiantalkradio.com and clicking on the podcast tab guardian radio continuing to provide you with fresh news and smart talk anywhere anytime all day Love the show? Want to give your support? Become a sponsor today. Call 302-2300 for our rates and packages. That's 302-2300. Become a sponsor on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The new Guardian Radio app is here. Listen live to all our Guardian Radio shows and live video stream select programs in our studio. Get information about Guardian Radio shows and our hosts. Send messages including text, email, and even call. All from our amazing new Guardian Radio app. Download it free today in your app store for your Apple device or Play Store for your Android device. The all new and improved Guardian Radio app. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Good morning and welcome back uh, to our conversation about the 2023 Financial Services Week Conference starting May the 24th through the 26th. That's Wednesday through Friday of next week. Remember, next week has been proclaimed Financial Services Week by the Prime Minister. It's going to be a wonderful time. Uh, just as we end the show, joining us on Zoom, we have Mr. Miguel Pratt from the Bahamas Institute for Financial Services, and he's going to share with us the technical details about the conference, how much it's going to cost, line, how to register, and uh, where to park. Good morning, Mr. Pratt. <laughs> good morning, Bahamas. Good morning, Aaron. How's everybody? Good, good, good. Good, good. So you can hear me loud and clear? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Well, we've made the registration process very simple. Please go to our website, www.bifs-edu.com. You'll see a registration link there where you can register either online or you can either download the application, fill it out, and scan it back to us. And as my boss was saying, this seminar is not just for financial services per professionals, but it's for the general public. Um, this seminar slash workshop is going to enable persons to upskill, learn about, about new topics like climate change and the risk and opportunities that present itself to the Bahamas. So um, we also offer CPE and CPD hours. So we encourage the general public, not just financial professionals, to please join us. Um, 
this week at our week of seminars. And as I said, it's very simple. We even have a phone number on the website. You can give us a call and we can register for you if need be. This is fantastic, Ms. Bodhi. We, uh, we wanted Miguel to just share some of the uh, prices of our... Or oh, the, the cost. For the, the, for the day. For all okay, the sessions. So, so for day one, for our members, is 295 That covers the whole day. For non-members, it's 350 For day two, it's uh, 175 for non-members at Crypto Isle. And 195 for non-members. Mm -hmm. 175 for members. 195 for non-members. All of this is on the website. Mm -hmm. And then day three is 150 members and 175 non-members. We also have a discount. If you do plan to attend all three days, you will get a, you will receive $100 off. Awesome. Awesome. This is fantastic. Like uh, Mr. Pratt said, it's not just for people in the financial service industry. It's for the general public. It's a capacity building opportunity. I want to say to NGOs, uh, whether you're registered or non-registered, please come out to this event and any networking opportunity you have, yes. speak to stakeholders in the financial services industry about creating a service space for NGOs to help them with the, your accounting, your reconciliation of funding mm -hmm. and grants and donations mm -hmm. and, and basic uh, uh, financial projection and economic projections. Uh, Miguel, don't we also offer a group rate if you, if you uh, register more than five employees? Well, there's also a percentage. We, discuss a group rate. Um, we encourage, as I said, we encourage all financial services Please send them their employees. This is a training opportunity, not just a seminar. As I say, it's a seminar slash workshop, but this is a training opportunity. And the only way for us to protect and grow financial services is through training. Folks, we have a lot, a lot of competition out here. We're not the only persons who manage money in the world, okay? But in order for us to keep the financial services um as a second pillar, a critical pillar to our, our, our economy, we must be up to date on all of our training. As I said, we have persons from the UK, from the Caribbean, um, that's going to help us do this training. So we encourage everybody, we encourage your corporate members, please send your people. And yes, we'll be able to discuss some good rates. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Absolutely. And, and, and this, Nash, the, the point you made, you hit, hit a critical mass where the majority of your people are financially literate. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that boosts your global financial outlook, right? Yeah. And, 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 and the gaze in. People become more confident about us as a nation, as a government, mm -hmm. because they, they see we have a culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. Sorry about that. That's okay. Um, we are just out of time. Remind us again. 2023 Financial Services Con uh, Week Conference. Day one is at Bahama. Yes. Day, day two is at Crypto. Day two and, and day three are at Crypto, crypto Isle. Isle. Yes. And the Prime Minister will be giving a the keynote address mm -hmm. on Monday at 10 a.m. I'm sorry, on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Wednesday at 10 a.m. This um, is awesome. And yeah. might I we, we, begin, we begin at 9, 9, 9.30, yes. but the keynote address is at 10. At 10. But I also want to put a plug in and say thank you to all of our speakers who are all, other than those persons are, are, are coming from Jamaica and, and those persons virtually from um, the UK and Wales and Scotland. Right. But we have our own homegrown experts, years of knowledge and experience who will be delivering these uh, presentations so I want to say thank you to them yes. for lending their expertise to the continuing education of the Bahamas Institute of Financial Services. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, when you see one of these stakeholders in the road, you say thank you. That's how we show them that we value them. Yes. Sometimes we can't pay people enough for their contributions, no. yeah. but socially and culturally we show them that mm -hmm. we value them and we appreciate them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mr. Fernanda, Mrs. Bodhi, Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm glad to have been here. It's what we need to hear right now. Dear people, if you thought you didn't know how to turn, uh, make a dollar out of 50 cents, now you're going to know. Mm -hmm. Any 
any entry level get to the 2023 Financial Services Week conference. And you yes. are also invited to come. Why, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. You are invited by the Institute to come. And we thank you for always opening up your air, the airwaves um, in your particular um, setting to share with our industry stakeholders as well as our students, our employees, and the general public on what we are doing at the Institute. We are doing some great things. Yes, ma'am. And we are training some, some of the best. Yes, in the world. I have traveled to conferences. Both Ian and I yes. have traveled to conferences. Yes. And I can tell you, we are the envy to some of our participants from the other parts of the world. That is yeah. awesome. Let okay. us continue. We have been a pace setter in training and financial services education. Uh, absolutely. This Bahamas Institute of Financial Services. 50 years. And I'm of... proud to be a part of it. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank, no, thank you so much. It is an institution yes. in the Bahamas. 50 years. Services. And remember, the 2023 Financial Services Week Conference starting Wednesday the 24th to the 26th of May, 2023. Thank you for joining me today, producer. Thank you, Zuela. Take us to the break. You'll hear what that song say, get involved, get involved. Take that mess from off the wall. Give that baby back and forth. Leave all the people things alone. There's not a way to get involved. Don't be no fool, stay in school Let your mind become a tool Just for made for fools to be 